Hey guys, Romy Superside here, back again doing another gameplay analysis, actually of a ranked match with uh, Geo Penguin and Tyler JC24 from Apex. Uh, I'm running the Weapon Power Vox. Now, he was, in a sense, kind of nerfed a slight amount because the resonance balances don't do as much as far as base damage. So they're not, they're not, they're not as strong as they used to be on a Weapon Power Vox, but they're still relevant. Uh, so I still max out my resonance first and then i max out my a secondary uh, not really maxing out my ultimate ever because the a provides that extra damage boost for weapon powers i think it's 20 percent once you use it it gives you a 20 percent weapon power boost uh, the resonance bounces hence apply resonance so that's obviously why i go with resonance as well and also because it's great for early game aggression uh, and keeping you know enemies at bay and it's good for splash damage too. I mean, so like in team fights, it actually adds up to quite a bit, even without the CP. Uh, actually, ends up being quite a bit. So that's primarily why I go with Residence first, and then go into the uh, Sonic Zoom after, and going two points into the ultimate. Uh, so I am going against a Lyra though. Uh, so it is a little bit questionable for me how I'm going to handle her because she is pretty strong. I think Vox and Lyra are both uh, laners that are still considered quite strong for this current meta. Uh, and I don't know if it's CP Vox or if it's Weapon Power Vox, which one is the meta, but I still like Weapon Power over CP just because it's easier to farm. Uh, and then single target is great, and you still do a moderate amount of, you know, uh, AoE with your resonance balances too. Unless it's like a really tanky hero that you're bouncing too. But yeah, I mean, I still think it's great. Uh, I'm currently right now at 15 CS at 1 minute 50 seconds, or 1 minute 57 seconds. Uh, so we're doing pretty good on farm. We haven't missed too many. I haven't really been watching the farm, so I don't know how many I've actually missed, but we haven't missed too many. One thing I tend to do as a laner when I'm boxed is I do use my Sonic Zoom to get around so I can get from point A to point B faster. Uh, just running by default uh, without using your, your, your movement from your A uh, just kind of cuts back on time you could have saved. That could have been like one or two CS. It could have been a big minion, and that adds up to quite a few rotations. So like... After like five or six rotations of not doing that, you have to worry about, um, you know, 10 or, you know, 11 CS that you're missed out on because you're not being quick enough to get that last hit uh, that you could have gotten if you used your Sonic Zoom to get to point A to point, or from point B to point A quicker. Uh, my son just got out of the room, so you're probably going to hear some noise or him come over here. So I apologize. <laughs> Alright, so we're going against the ladder, like I said. Uh, farm again is still not too bad. We're gonna end up with uh, about nine. I say I, I would say about nine CS per minute after this group of minions here, or, or not? <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean it's still not bad. Twenty-eight at three minutes, ten seconds is not too bad. Um, I, as far as my build, I do go Sorrow Blade into a Bone Saw if they have armor. Uh, generally, I go Bone Saw regardless because they're gonna build armor against me unless I'm just not caring. Uh, and that means I'm not doing my job. <clears throat> but generally I go bone saw regardless. Sorry, my voice is also, it tends to get a little bit scratchy and it makes me want to cough. So if I lose my voice midway through a sentence, that's why. Uh, so yeah, I go sorrow blade, bone saw, then I go into a tyrant and then finish off with most likely a breaking point. Uh, I am hesitant to say Sar or serpent mask is a great choice. I haven't really tested the waters with that as far as my particular build with Weapon Power Vox. You guys can try it out if you like, uh, but I still find that uh, just pure damage is better because my tank, my supports should be keeping me alive regardless with peel or just heals from renewal or whatever abilities they may have. I leave the, the survivability up to my, my roam <laughs> and the damage is my job. Alright, so we're at 42, so we're a little bit ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. We're a little bit ahead as far as CS goes. Uh, we're getting that six sends into that Sor uh, Sorrow Blade here pretty soon. Using the Sonic Zoom again to travel faster from point uh, A to point B. Um, and then, hold on, I think my son wants the other iPad. Let me give it to him real quick. Here you go, baby. There you go. All right, so <clears throat> again, we're dealing with the Lyra. Uh, looks like it was a Catherine. 
And I forgot who the other hero was that we're going against in the jungle. I'll see in a second. I think it's Glaive. No, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but we'll find out here in a second. Um, but yeah, so we're doing we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're keeping up in CS. I, I'm pretty sure Lyra's not too far behind. Unless she's just missing a lot of CS, which, you know, I have to check to see the actual amount, but... My, uh, my junglers are coming up to kind of just put a little bit of pressure. What? What was that? Oh, you're, uh, you messed it up. Let me help you. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the first engagement. We do take out the... Oh, this is where I kind of messed up. So Catherine bubbled. I should have just stopped hitting right here. But I decided that I'm going to try to see if I can maybe take her out with me. Uh, because I felt like if I waited too long, she's just going to stun me or just hit me and kill me anyways. So I wanted to try and see if I can take her out. Maybe if I didn't continue to hit her, I may have been able to survive. I don't know. So I don't really know if that was a mistake, but I feel like it was. Um, I feel like I could have just not hit her, survived. Maybe let my potion heal me up while we're trying to run away. Um, I don't know. I think I could have handled it a little bit better. So that first engagement, we did pick up a kill. I didn't get it, but my teammates got it. Uh, so we were managed to take out one of them, and then I die. So it's a one for one, I believe, at this point. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. All right, there we go. There is another one. 66 at 6 minutes, 44 seconds. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, if I'm weapon power Vox or weapon power Ringo, my farm is far more accurate as far as a 9 to 10 CS per minute type of farm. Um, well, I wouldn't say accurate, I would say consistent is a better word here. Um, but yeah, so I find it weird, but... I want to find it weird. I, I, I understand why, because I do better damage with my basic attack, so making farming easier, but... Oh, it's a rhyme, that's right. I remember this rhyme. He was like a nuisance, because he's like so tanky. Uh, but I'm trying my best to kind of, you know, keep him at bay, but it's just he... Oh, that re... That's not the resonance. The, uh... Oh, I do die, though. That, uh, fortified health is just keeping him alive forever. <coughs> Excuse me. So we do pick up the Star Blade now. Uh, so I'm currently 0-2. My farm is starting to plummet a little bit. We're no longer kind of up there in that 10 CS per minute mark. We're more so around that uh, you know, 8, maybe 9. Low, not even 9. Probably I'd say 8 CS per minute. But we'll clear this up. We'll get all this right here. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to keep... Farming it up, there's no reason for us to rotate when they're going to their back, so, I mean... Just a rule of thumb, you don't really want to rotate to center shop. Say you, say you have a lot of money, and you want to rotate, but you're seeing your your jugglers... Uh, like, for instance, what I'm doing right now, it's, it's okay, because I kind of get an idea of where they're at. So I'm not too paranoid about it. But, like, if you don't know where the enemy is, like, you don't see him at all on the minimap. Like, before, I was able to see him, so I was like, okay, I'm safe to shop. But... In situations where you don't know where the enemy's at and your junglers are rotating to their backs, meaning it'll take forever for them to get to the center shop to help you, you don't want to rotate and shop at that point. You want to shop generally when they're heading towards the center. Uh, your allies are heading towards the center. That's when you want to come down and shop. Um, here we are. We're trying to come down to our teammates, but I decided that, you know what? I'm going to deal with this line right here. I'm going to go ahead and just finish her off here. Good portal. Allows me to catch up to her. And then I'm not, I, I didn't want, even want to come down yet because I wanted to make sure I get my farm. Um, but uh, we do secure the Catherine, I think. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to here. There it is. Oh, no! Jesus. Yeah, they're both just surviving just barely, but we managed to take out the, uh, the rhyme here. There it goes. And then Catherine does get away. Um, I, come, I, I actually come back. Catherine's actually still around. I thought she actually poured it out. So I actually could have picked her up. I didn't see that minimap right that moment where I just saw right now where um, she was still around. But I did take out the the Catherine and I have been running from the Lyra because I do not want to engage on that anymore because she will destroy me. 
Um, and then we're going to pick up this farm as we go. Fine as well. <laughs> and then uh, Geo Fingers going to give me the regen. A lot of times as a jungler, if you're seeing your laner come up or come down and he's low on health, uh, just give him the regen. Don't, there's no need to be selfish. In, in the future, if he needs that gold, you can have him take some of your lane. But primarily, you know, you want your, your carry. Your laner carry is the most... I would say, in general, is the general carry. <laughs> in general, is the general carry. Uh, but I'm saying, like, in general, the laner is the one that does most of the damage. The jungler, depending on who you're playing as a jungler, the jungler acts as, like, a secondary... Uh, tank slash carry. So like he's generally a little bit tankier than the laner. Um, he has a little bit more control than the laner. So he's like the in between between a carry and a roam, as far as you know, sort of ability and as far as um, damage. So it's like generally the laner wants to be like, I think for the most part, most laners only grab one defensive item, uh, and then also. Half the time, it's only a reflex block. Because you go pure damage, you let your roamers carry for, or not carry for you. You let your roamers peel for you, you let your junglers peel for you, and then you just let them take the damage, and you kind of stay back and do your damage. And then you should be able to be fine. If you start to get focused pretty hard uh, by a certain damage type, then you might want to start building towards that defense. But you can see here, another thing too that's pretty common to do in high elo, is you don't even finish off the turrets yourself. So you let the minions do it, so you can come down and take objectives uh, while still taking out the turret because of minions. So what I did was, um, I saw that the minions were going to be pushing, and I could gauge how much damage they're doing, so I dropped down before I even took out the turret, knowing the minions were going to take it out, so I could help and get the gold mine before it's too late. <clears throat> if I had waited and taken out the turret, then that gold mine may have been a lot more healthier when the enemies got there. And the fight would have been probably a lot different and could have been more in the favor of the enemy than us. Uh, we got, we still got lucky though because we still managed to pick it up, but it was close. It was definitely close. Oh, don't touch that baby. Uh, but yeah, so now we're gonna pick up the bone saw. We're looking at see, I actually actually saw, I was actually looking to see what kind of defense they had. And I was like, cause I was like, okay, I got the money for the bone saw. Let me go in and check real quick. So I saw that they had armor. I saw that they had, uh, you know, multiple people with armor, and I was like, you know what, I'm getting bone saw. Uh, if they didn't, then I may have decided to get a breaking point, which, like I said, I generally go bone saw regardless. But if we're doing really well, I like to go breaking point sometimes, just because the extra da the extra damage you get from stacking up is really nice too for prolonged fights, which happens a lot in this particular match. Uh, geez, this 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 rhyme is always sticking to me though. It's really annoying. <laughs> But yeah, and we don't get that Catherine, and then I'm gonna die by the rhyme. Oh Jesus, yeah. And then we actually have Alpha go down as well. Can I stop touching that, please? Don't touch this. No, no, no. Okay, thank you. Uh, and then the fig goes down. Yeah. So you got booger? <laughs> My son got booger. He's like trying to blow his nose. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. We'll give you some in a second. All right, so there we go. Uh, we're again we're using our A to get to our objective, which is to protect our turret at this point. <clears throat> no, no, need, no reason not to use it. I know some people are like, oh, I want to save my energy for fights and stuff. Well, you'll gather that back up passively. So I mean, just use your abilities to have mobility to get that mobility you need to get to that objective sooner. Here's where it kind of sucks. I kind of got focused out. I, did, I, I actually face checked when I shouldn't have. Uh, which actually was very, very unfortunate. But we managed to take out the Catherine and turn this around for us. Uh, I still managed to survive just barely. We get that ace buff too, so I'm going to heal right back up. That was actually a big mistake on my part. I shouldn't have face checked myself. I, I don't know if Alpha went in first. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that we lost vision and then I face checked. Uh, and then there they were. So I, you really want to let, you, let your, your Rome face check if need be. Primarily, they should have, you know, flares or scout traps placed. Uh, but if they don't, you let the roam face check, not the carry. That's not very smart. Which was actually weird right there was that Lyra used her B 
And when I exited out of her B, I didn't take the negative effect, which is the slow or the damage. I don't know if it's because my reflex block was just barely up in time. It didn't look like it was. Uh, but uh, it, it definitely looked like it was weird, as if like something bugged out. I don't know. And now we're trying to get this rhyme. He's just like lasting forever. Here we go. We're actually starting to do really good. We're starting to snowball. I'm 10, 3, and 5 right now. Yeah, 5 CS. Not 5 CS, 5 assists. Uh, our farm is still pretty high, too. I'm at 145 at 15 minutes, 24 seconds, so it's not too shabby. I'm not perfect, 10 CS per minute, but we're doing enough to where we can kind of keep up with that CS uh, at, a, at a reasonable time. <clears throat> I'm going to grab this regen real quick, too, so we can heal up. The reason why I didn't give it to Alpha is because Alpha does have reboot. I don't. And I have far less health compared to her, technically. So, because she has a whole other life bar once she comes back from her reboot. Uh, but yeah, so, doing pretty good. Uh, wait, see my son here climb in a second. There we go. Here he is. <laughs> we'll let him sit up here, I guess. You guys can admire him, I guess, since a lot of people want to see him. <coughs> hey, baby. We're, uh, we're voicing over a video. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my hair, dude. My hair is, like, nasty right now. What? What, baby? You want an iPad? No. You want milk? Oh, okay. Well, we gotta wait, okay? We're almost done. We're almost done, baby. Alright, so we're 10, 3, and 5 again. Our CS is doing pretty good. Uh, we're actually looking for a fight. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably just follow the fin. I would have infused if I had the money, but I didn't. So I didn't infuse. Um, here he goes. He loves my ears, guys. He He's so weird when it comes to my ears. Everybody's like, what is he doing? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so the, the engagement's going pretty good. Um, <laughs> uh, we got the split right here right now in the rhyme. But he's still doing a buttload of damage. Um, and we do take him out. We take out the Catherine as well. We're not going to really chase the Lyra. Uh, the Lyra is uh, a little bit scary, and I don't have energy, so we don't want to deal with that. So we're just going to get the farm, come down, maybe get the regen if it's available, and then go shop. So there's the regen. What are you doing, Ken? <laughs> uh, you guys are going to get a good heavy dose of my, my son here today. Uh, so now we're getting their backs. Um, when they're like, like I said in previous videos that I analyzed, if you have the time and they're down, get their backs. You, you don't want to not get their backs because uh, that just is an opportunity you missed out on. You can get extra gold yourself and then also deny them gold, further increasing that gold difference between the teams. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Kenneth, what are you doing with my ears? I know I have big earlobes. Okay, I get it. You're just gonna make them bigger. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone from an analyzing gameplay to like my son and what he does to daddy. All right, this this game needs to close soon. <laughs> I think we're coming to an ending here. Oh wait, now I'm looking at the the progress bar. We got like about six minutes left. Uh, there's another good fight. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take out the captain here. She tries to uh, Atlas pull to me, which she does apply it, but then she runs off. So it kind of was almost pointless. Uh, but then we take off the rhyme as well. There it goes. Bam. Um, okay. Uh, and then now we're going to go ahead and get cracking. I'm going to clear lane while they get cracking. I'm going to try to push, get the minions to push into that turret. Uh, and then potentially even take out a turret or go for their backs. Or just come down and get cracking, which looks like I might be doing it. Oh, that's right, because the Catherine, I knew the Catherine was still around. That's why I kind of uh, decided to still go back down to Kraken, because I want to make sure we can secure that. Uh, and now we are going to do that. We're going to go ahead and secure the Kraken. Uh, we're going to get it just in time, I believe. I think they poke right before we get it. No, they don't. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> They're right there, right after we got it. Um, <laughs> oh, this kid. This kid just abuses me to no end. Yes, my earlobes are huge, and I know you like to put your face to them, but that is not actually sanitary. 
the ears are the most oiliest, oiliest, is that a word? It's very oily back there. The nose and the ears. Here's a situation where I thought Finn was going to grab successfully, so I ulted, but it, unfortunately he missed, and therefore I hit nothing, which very, really, really sucked. But we do manage to take out the Rhyme. We're doing a lot of damage to this Lyra. We just cannot secure it. Um, I don't want to take the risk of taking a bunch of turret shots and dying. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage. Uh, and now we are being climbed onto Life I Am Power. <coughs> Here we are. Just trying to do as much damage as we can. Uh, Lyra is not going to die. I'm going to get taken out. Ugh. And then the Kraken is not going to be able to finish the job. Uh, they're going to take it down before we can take it out in their vein. Now we got one more run at this, uh, potentially. If we do well, we should be able to take them out. Uh, we could backdoor, or we can fight them like real men. Here's where I was like, I don't know if I want to go Super Mask or if I want to go Cannon, really? I don't know if I want to go Super Mask or Breaking Point. But I went Breaking Point. I wanted to try out the Super Mask just because of the relevance of the, the life sustain is nice. But breaking points more damage. Breaking point means they die faster. And breaking point means that they not do more damage to me because they die faster. They can't do damage when they're dead. Uh, sorry for the peanut gallery, guys. I got my son in the background kind of doing his own commentary as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Here we are. Uh, we, we're definitely looking for a fight. We are infused. We are full build. Yes, we got tier 3 boots, ages. Sorrow, Bone Saw, Breaking Point, and Tyrant. So we are looking good. Yeah, good point, Cannon. That is a good point. Yeah, we, we probably should do that. <laughs> what else do you think? What else should we do? Should we go to the center and fight there? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, he said yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, baby. We're gonna get milk after this. That is almost done. That is almost done. Here's a good engagement. We do get the science off on two of them, I believe. Catherine is now by herself trying to get over to her teammate. Uh, and it's just not looking good. She's trying to Atlas me again, but it didn't actually connect. I don't know how that didn't connect. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't reflex block. Maybe somebody else crucibled? I didn't see it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to take out the Catherine. And that is game. So we don't get, we don't get an ace. But we do get enough to where we can pretty much take out this objective, which is the vein. Uh, and call it a game. So there we go. And there goes the Lyra. Soon to die? No, we're just like, whatever. Let's just finish it off and finish the game. So I'm 64 7, 194 CS at 2251 seconds. Not too bad. Not perfect by any means. I could have done better, but uh, overall, we did really good. So Weapon Power Vox is definitely still a go, as far as meta, for sure. Uh, what do you think, Cannon? You think uh, Weapon Power Vox is good? Yeah? Yeah, he says yeah. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Weapon Power Vox. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little peanut gallery back here. And I will see you guys next time. Later! Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>